And welcome back, this is Mother Scuba with another episode of Let's Learn StarCraft 2. Um, as you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, I'm still a little bit under the weather, so I won't be able to give you pretty much any high-level games that I would love to. Uh, you know, me doing the 1v1s in Diamond, or even decent 2v2s, I just cannot think right now. So, instead I'm going to be doing a, a, a little Let's Learn here. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating what three racks should look like. I'm just going up against a, a random hard computer opponent. Um, even in um, even in this state, I should be able to handle that just fine. I'm not even going to get any scouting done here. Uh, that's how confident I am in my abilities right now. Uh, so, as you can see, right now, I'm, I'm not doing much of anything, just trying to focus the SCVs onto the empty mineral patches. Continually making SCVs, you want to get that up, and keep that up as long as you possibly can. See now, um, I can see that this one is going to be done just in time to get the supply depot up, so I, I put the SCV to that mineral patch to replace him and then moved him out just out of range of the Vespian Geyser uh, to start that supply depot. Um, then just after that, um, you know, you can get, uh, you can do additional micro with your SCVs. I don't like to. Oh, I forgot to put him back there. Um, like I said, I don't particularly like to. Um, the first barracks is a little bit late here, but that's all right. So, what we've got here, one barracks going, and then continually pumping out SCVs. Just, it never stops. Ever, ever, ever. In fact, I need to set that to my number four. I don't know why that didn't happen before. I actually need to get a react uh, refinery up. I do typically like to get that up before I start that um, 14th SCV. Um, telling by the su supply count there. Uh, but that one um, was a little bit late. Either way is technically fine. I'll be a little bit short on gas, but that's not that big of a deal SCV right now. Um, should have time just for this one SCV, and then I'll have to cancel it. Uh, take two uh, SCVs out of the line, put them into um, the refinery, start making my first marine. That becomes an orbital command. This guy needs to build a supply depot. So pretty much, you know, pretty basic so far. Pretty basic strategy right now. Uh, once this marine does pop out, I want instantly to have a reactor on that first barracks. You don't necessarily have to get that as a reactor, but I like to. Um, this guy needs to start a second barracks. Uh, this guy will go and build the third one once that's done. Once this becomes normal command, mule down immediately, start training SCVs once again. There goes the third barracks. Highlighting all of them, just a quick double click, and then I put them to the front there. These guys can go back. Once again, making sure I'm building SUVs, and now I need a s another supply depot. Even though I'm at only at 22 out of 27, that will go away fast, that supply will. So I do want to get as many Marines and Marauders as soon as possible, so I do need to get the supply depot up now. And as you can see, I can hear uh, the Marines and Marauders when they come out. Well, no Marauders left. Uh, to get a tech lab on that second one there. Once again, as soon as that guy's finished, he needs to keep building supply depots. Once this hits 50, once again, putting another mule, I like to put them on the closer ones. It looks like I misclicked with that one. And then as soon as everything's done, you just want to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Continually making okay. SCVs. Um, try. Yes, I do have enough for the Marauder there and the concussive shells. This guy needs to build another Not supply depot. Minerals. And as you can see, I am almost out of minerals here, waiting for a hundred, and then two more Marines coming out. So there's my first Marauder. Look at all those Marines that are already out. And no, I thought that was in me for a second there. But no, that's just uh, my computer playing tricks on me. And once again, I'm doing the supply depots around the base. That is very important. Uh, not necessarily 
against a computer opponent, but against a human opponent, you never really know what's going to go on. There we go, concussive shells will always finish first, especially since they kind of nerfed um, stim pack. I'm not exactly sure the point of that. Um, it, you know, it kind of delays my attack by 30 game seconds, which is a long time, let's be honest, but this was already a long building tech. You know, I mean, I already took 140, now it takes 170. That's, that's a huge difference. In they come now. We've got a Protoss player, and I'm, I easily have enough to scare that off. It looks like he did go for a 4 gate. The computer players usually like to go for that. Just making sure, uh, you know, constantly checking uh, my 4 and my 5, my, um, uh, my command center, and my barracks. making sure that they're constantly producing. As soon as this is done, I'm going to get combat shield, which does mean that I'll probably have to get marines out because I just don't have enough gas right now. In fact, I want to get an engineering bay and a refinery right now. Um, once again, not getting... Um, uh, not doing the stim... Or, sorry, not getting uh, the scan done. Um, just sticking with... Um, the mules for now, and it looks like I am oversaturated here. I am, um, but once that goes up, uh, then I'll make my move. Um, that, that's usually this is pretty late for when I would like to make my first move, uh, but I'm just trying to show off how this works. As you can see, I'm already out of supply right now. And then this is up. So this needs to go, and then I don't have enough gas to start the upgrade right now, but I will keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, I'm going to set these guys to one and move them down to there. And then if I encounter anything on the way, I will be going for the stim pack. you got to keep an eye on the army. There we go. And then once you get enough minerals while you're attacking, you want to be able to get the command center. And that, yes, that does mean that your production on Marines will go down, Marines and Marauders, but that is fine. I can see here that he does not have a command center. That's fine. Do I have enough for a scan? I don't. So I'm going to be forced to just move all my guys up. Uh, you know, really no micro required. He, you know, this is a computer opponent. Uh, that's probably why I chose just hard here. Uh, so I'm going to take out the pylons. Focusing those down because it's going to uh, take out his buildings here. And then the concussive shells are going to prevent these um, these zealots from getting any damage done on me. I, ca I have fallen apart on the production here. Uh, that's pretty typical of me. It should not be of you. Um, you know, keep an eye on your uh, minerals and gas. You never know when your opponent's going to be able to fend this off. But I can clearly see here that my opponent is not going to be able to do anything with this massive army inside his base. So I feel pretty secure here in just kind of relaxing and taking it for, you know, really what it's worth. And this is obviously going to be a win for me. Uh, the computer doesn't GG as fast as a player would. Uh, you know, by now the player is is definitely gone. Um, you can go here, uh, you can go there, uh, you can do that. You know, just, you know, basic micro. There we go, he finally surrenders once I take out that nexus. And there we go, that's the game. Uh, so, a quick game, uh, that's, what's what, that's what you expect with the three racks. Um, if it had gone further and I uh, saturated that expansion I would have gone for five racks but uh, that's entirely up to you if you guys feel that uh, you you'll be served better with unupgraded tanks for a little bit then feel free to go that route or try to go for air support units but with um, with my upgraded army I felt I was very secure keeping the, the infantry units as my main focus of the army so that is what I got uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little I, I guess you could call it lesson 
just me pretty much showing you my basic strategy. Um, if you can master this, and I wouldn't even say that I have mastered it, uh, I do it pretty well though. Um, this this strategy, almost pretty much solely this strategy, it got me two platinum divisions. So if you guys are lower than that and you are a Terran player, uh, feel free to look into this, uh, try to learn from it. Um, I, you know, I, I I normally end these by saying hope you laugh, hope you learn, but I don't think I cracked a single joke this entire time, so hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.